What is up, people of YouTube? It is I, Super Mario Zilla, or you can call me Vinny, and today we're gonna take a look at the SH Figures Star Lord and the Purple Explosion set. This version of Star Lord comes from the Marvel Cinematic Universe movie, Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 2. In the film, Star Lord discovers his father and starts acting a bit ignorant. That was until he found out his father killed his mother. Wow, what a dickhead, right? Star Lord, in the end, ends up destroying his father for the sake of saving the galaxy once again and the planets that his father was about to destroy. But at a cost, Star Lord lost his godlike powers and lost his friend Yondu. I know that wasn't incredibly detailed, but I wanted to keep it somewhat brief. Star Lord is an excellent looking figure. In fact, I'll say this this is probably the best looking Marvel Cinematic Universe figure in the SH Figure Arts line. I'm not sure if I triggered anyone in the comments for saying that. I won't be surprised if I did, though. But anyway, you're probably wondering what makes this figure look great. Well, we're going to take a closer look. The face captures the actor pretty well. It's not a perfect resemblance, but for the most part, it captures the likeness really well. And this is by far the best looking dot matrix technology I've ever seen so far on an MCU SH Figure Arts figure. It looks surprisingly clean. Fantastic. The hair is an intricate sculpt and the paint job makes it look a bit too shiny. Doesn't look bad, but I can imagine it will definitely bother some people. Only bad thing is this pretty bad mold line. Those who expect perfection, you will be disappointed. The shirt is just a plain light blue and is sculpted nicely. Also, the wording on the shirt is fantastic. Nice and clean. No issues. The jacket itself has a nice intricate and detailed sculpt and there's black shading all over the jacket and looks really good. Really makes the, the figure pop. The gold buttons is not nice and clean surprisingly. For a modern day Bandai, it's surprising. The arms of the jacket have the awesome detailing and shading as mentioned earlier. D despite the belt being mostly hidden, it still has details and they look good. The silver on the belt buckle is once again clean. And that's a good way to describe the paint on this figure. Very clean. The pants ha has a nicely detailed sculpt and we once again have very nice uh, paint shading all over the pants. The gold buttons uh, on the pants is well done, no slop. And the rest of the details on the pants is really good. A and the paint on the lower legs is clean, no complaints there. And the shoes look fantastic. The tiniest of details are once again captured. A combination of a fantastic sculpt and paint being excellent no doubt helps this figure a lot. Am I being too generous? Maybe, but I can't deny that this figure does ha have its qualities. So Star Lord's articulation, um, not the, it's not the best, but, well, 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 well I mean, it still is pre pretty good. It's just that some of the articulation kind of ruins the aesthetics, and you know the like articulation is just weird. It's, it's exactly like to Tony Stark's, and I'm not sure how how to, to feel about that, but you know we'll go over that as we go along. But somebody, to most of the articulation is good. Uh, I mean, functionality it works, it works, but you, you know. Towards the aesthetics, I'm not sure how to feel. Alright, so. Head is on a double paw peg. Can move up this far by itself. Down this far by itself. Uh, actually, actually, you know what? No, I lied. It moves up this far by itself. And as you can see, they gave the neck more sculpt to prevent gaps. Well, I mean, there was a tiny gap right there, but still. This is pretty good. Not sure how, how I feel about that curvature. Maybe that's supposed to represent the Adam's apple. Maybe. I don't know. With the neck joint, which is on a ball joint, it can move, they, he can move down about that, that that far. Well, look down. Excuse me. I cannot speak, speak today. I'm, I'm so sorry, folks. Torso is, uh, is on a ball joint. Pretty good range. And, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, <laughs> well, now nah, you you already already know how how I feel about about the stupid ass uh, uh, little, little bit pants pants being being a floating piece. I, I hate that uh, honestly. Like unless if, if it's a Figma, which works well on there. I hate this. But anyway, as he did see the the bottom waist it, it is on a ball joint, so so we can crunch forward about about. Um, it's not a lot, but it's. It's not a lot, but uh, but it is de decently far, and they get crunched back. Um, pretty good amount actually. So so yeah, that's pretty good. But obviously, you gotta be sure you, you don't have the shirt actually overlap the the damn pants piece. That that can get frustrating, and annoying. There we do have a, we do have a a a butterfly joint, so that's pretty good. 
it's not, it's not, not the best range, but it's okay. Arms can swivel as biceps. It works better than Spider-Man's, so that's a good thing. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I like it. And it can hinge up about this far. And this is why I say it ruins size of the aesthetics. This part looks a bit too flat. Like, I'm not sure it, it, that's perspective um, fucking with me or or, 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 or or the joint mechanism screwing with my head, but but it just looks a bit flat at this area. I mean, functionality-wise, it's really good. B -b but, you know, that's... It's just... I, 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 I'm not sure. So, this, this could have been done a, a bit better. Elbows are, are double hinged, can move just a little bit more than 90 degrees. N not sure how I f feel about I feel about about that. Um, for for Star Lord, it, it works, I guess. But you, you know, don't expect Spider Man or, or articulation. Hands are on ball hinges. Get oh, get okay range, get decent range. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Just your standard ball hinge. Legs. Um, it's an upside down T, and this pants it. it the crotch area is a floating piece, just like a Figma. However, another reason why it ruins the aesthetics, because what did the leg move out, move forward from here, not from here? And I'm not sure how did they feel about uh, about that, because it kind of makes it look a bit odd and off. Can't do the splits about this far. Can kick forward about, about this much, but but it will come off on, on, on an angle, which kind of sucks. And it can move back about this far. Thigh swivels, but but yeah, I'm not sure how how, how to feel about about this because you know it should have been up here, not down here. This, this makes him this makes his legs up here short. It makes them uh up here up here short. And you know we get we get gapping and that that doesn't help with the leg articulation, especially if it, if it kind of messes with the aesthetics look like this. There could have been a better way. Like I also did not like this with Tony Stark, so there could have been a a much better way to to do this. Like this, Bandai, this is not good. No, don't don't like don't don't. don't, don't don't do do this. That makes it a bit frustrating to the the pose it because you know again angles. I mean it's not. I mean it's not the worst thing. Worst thing. And also, if you're not careful, um, you can accidentally get get the plot get the floating piece caught in between the joints. So, yeah. Jesus Christ, uh, how much time was I ranting about about, uh, about the pants? Uh, I don't even know. Knees are double hinged. Um, it's good range. Uh, it's pretty good. Standard stuff. Uh, it's good. Legs can move. Well, as you can see, the, the legs are on ball joints. Legs can move down about this much, which is... It's okay. It's not horrible. Can move forward about. Kept popping off. Uh, can move forward about this much, which is. Uh, yeah, it's not horrible. It's not horrible. It's okay. And the ankle walker, it can. Again with the joints. Jesus Christ. And ankle walker is not bad. It, uh, it's actually far, far better than, than Doctor Strange's and Captain America. So, so I do commend them for, for that. It, it's on a ball joint, but. But they made it work like this, so good. I like that. And toes are on a hinge. With and they have a good range. It's pretty good. So articulation for Star Lord, like I said, somebody articulation does ruin the aesthetics a little bit. I mean, you can still you can still still get some decent poses with him, but but you know the crotch floating piece does kind of limit the leg or articulation a, a, a little bit. And again, I'm not sure how how to feel about this. It's like my least fa favorite part. It can, it can limit some of the articulation a, a little bit. Well, if you if you're creative with the poses, you can still get get some cool po uh, poses out of this guy uh, with the legs. But still, it's like yeah. Again, I'm not sure how how to feel about this. Uh, Upper articulation and you know more lower articulation is pretty good. I say more lower because you know this thing. I uh, just not sure how, how to feel about about it again. It's like I don't know. I don't like it. 
but but still, articulation, f functionality wise, it works, and for the most part, uh, again, <laughs> again, I I think uh, I think it's good. It, it, it's not the best articulation in the world, but you know, it's okay. <laughs> Star Lord is about six inches tall. Now let's do some size comparisons. Here he is with the SH figure it's Doctor Strange and Iron Man. Here he is with the SH figure it's Black Panther and Ant Man. Here he is with the SH figure it's Tony Stark and Spider Man. Next, here he is with the Marvel Legends Nova and Ghost Rider. And finally, here he is with the SH figure it's Captain America and Rocket Raccoon. So he goes nicely with the other figure it's Marvel figures. So he'll fit right in with the Marvel display. And again, if you want to sneak him in with some Marvel Legends, you can do that. Though they might be slightly out of scale, just saying. Ugh, accessories is a bit of a letdown because there was some cool stuff we could have got. I'll talk about that after the accessories. He comes with a alternate head with his mask. The sculpt is wonderful on this mask and the paint is incredible on this thing. Great looking piece. Next, he comes with two fist hands in the package. Two calm relaxed hands. And two gun holding hands. And that's all the hands. Yeah, you could argue he doesn't come with enough hands, but no, he has enough hands. Next, he comes with his two weapons. Something really stupid about these is that they don't have holes for the trigger fingers. Wait, what? Okay, okay, hold on. Why? The Marvel Legends uh, has the holes for the trigger fingers. Wh what the hell is Bandai's excuse? It's not a big deal, but it can make it a bit tricky to, to pose them properly. They fit into the gun holding hands easy enough. You shouldn't have much issues putting them in hands. Next, if you ordered from Bluefin, you get the exclusive purple explosion set. These look awesome, and the paint, I love it. Fantastic. Awesome purple translucent paint, I love it. I absolutely love this, it's incredible. Makes me wish that this was a separate explosion pack instead of coming with Star Lord. Eh, well, can't win them all, can you? They have hollow insides, and also have peg holes for Tomashi's support arms to make them float. And they can also be stacked. So now you can have Star Lord dodging pink explosions. Or purple explosions. Excuse, excuse me. The accessories that Starlord comes with are good, but don't feel like enough. No muzzle flashes for the guns, no jetpack, no Walkman. Really? Did you have to cheat us out of so much accessories? I would have been fine without the jetpack, but the other accessories mentioned, they would have been nice. So, buy, don't buy, or wait for a sale. This is a good figure, but does have questionable issues. Mainly with the leg articulation and the accessories. If you ordered him for Japan, it would have costed around $60. Definitely a bit overpriced. It's not a horrible price, but it still is a bit expensive. If you don't like that price, get it on sale. The figure from Bluefin with the explosions will cost about $84. Which is a bit more reasonable since it does come with the explosions. If you still don't like that price, again, get it on sale. But that doesn't change the fact that Star-Lord is still a solid figure. The positives outweigh the negatives, and I'm actually enjoying the figure a lot more than I thought. So if you don't mind the price and need a Starlord figure for the collection, be sure to pick this up. I'll give this figure an excellent 9 out of 10. Thanks for watching guys and gals. If you like this video, leave a like. If you want to share your thoughts, comment down below. And if you like this video and want to see others, you can subscribe. And if you like behind the scenes or toy photography, you can follow me on Instagram. Link to it is in the description below. With that being said, I am Super Mario Zilla, and I am out. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.